Hey, man. I ain't gonna lie, training camp looking pretty good, man. Got a couple standout stars that I wanna talk about. Let me know if you agree with them. Here we go. A G L E S. Say fly eagles fly. Fly eagles fly. Fly eagles fly. <laughs> Center. And then from this point, Lamar Jackson is turning upfield. Davion Taylor takes a good angle and displays some speed to get downfield. So he doesn't really change his angle as he's chasing him down. So good fundamental and good hustle. Yerp, yerp, yo that man, you know who it is, you know what it is, man. You're both fully fresh. AKA the general, yes. If you have not done it, please make sure you hit that sub button right down there for your boy. And also Hit the like. It's a bell next to it if you want to know when I put up all the flavor when I go live. If you want to be notification, yo, that gang, all you got to do is hit the bell for your boy. And if you want to be a member, all you got to do is hit the description under it. Hit the description, and it'll tell you how to be a member. and also tell you how to get all the flavor, fully fresh and yo, that merch, man. It's on there. Shout out to the print champs. Um, Fresh fact of the day is don't let nobody... Nobody. I don't care if it's your own mom, your own pop, your own kids. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do what you feel as though you want to do. What I mean by that is if you got a dream and you think that people are telling you that you can't succeed, whatever the case may be, don't believe them. Don't believe them. Because I never thought I done did a quarter of my life, about a quarter of my life in, in behind bars. I never thought I would have, first of all, a platform to where I, where's do I be able to talk to y'all? In sports, I love talking sports. I always love talking sports. You know what I mean? But to have a platform now and to basically get paid for it, it's definitely love. Never thought I'd have my own clothes. You know what I mean? And I damn sure never thought I would be a, a co-owner, a co-owner to a cleaning company. I was just a hustler. You know what I mean? But I built that into better things, man. So, people told me I wouldn't succeed. I wouldn't do this. I couldn't do that. But best believe I ain't listened to them. If I did, I wouldn't be talking to y'all right now. Don't let people tell you you can't succeed. Fresh fact of the day. All right. Let's get to it. First, let's talk about Devontae Taylor. Standout guy. And it's crazy because I always said... Now, this is just training camp, so we're not going to go head over hills. But it is funny how he's basically sticking out more than Eric Wilson, more than Bradley, and whatever other dude, Singletary, Singleton, or any other dude that seems like he's sticking out more. And the more that I look at it, and you got to understand, and I've been said this, I've been saying this, he has all the attributes. He got speed. He's athletic. We've seen him chase down Lamar Jackson. Come on now. Y'all forgot? We've seen him chase down Lamar Jackson. So, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not surprised that he's the standout guy right now. I am not surprised, man. Um, I, They said camp, uh, his first day at camp was kind of slow, but then it gradually went up. They, they said they didn't really do anything really the first day at camp. But they said this dude has has it all. If he puts it together on the field and has his awareness and just being able to be experienced and play, we might got one, y'all. We might got one. And this goes back to last year's draft. What was I talking about? Last year's draft. Look at the guys that got drafted. I think about four, or th three to four of them are starters. Probably even more. Probably even more, man, if you want to go press Tega and dudes like that. Like, probably even more, man. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. This draft, last year's draft, especially if Rhaegar uh, 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 pans out. And I did hear that he is uh, is injured or whatever the case may be, can't practice. That's not a good look. That's damn sure not a good look. Um. I don't know if he has came back yet, but that was a couple days ago. I know I ain't make a video in a couple days. I've been family time, trying to trying to get some things together, y'all. 
Uh, but look, Taylor, man, he got all the attributes. He really does. And I like him more and more. And I can't wait to see the kid on the field. That was the problem. The kid didn't get on the field last year. Do you think, do you think right now, uh, uh, Damian Taylor is better than Nathan Gary? Because I do. Now, experience wise, no. But raw athleticism and also speed and also just reactionary. Like the way the guy reacts is is, is good, but experience make you re react faster. So experience Nathan Gary, yeah. But y'all didn't give him the experience last year. That was the problem. Y'all wanted to play favorites. Who knows what this guy would be right now if he just was on the field? That was his biggest problem. He couldn't. He was. He couldn't get on the field, and it wasn't because of no health issues or anything. It's because of the coaches stunk. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm liking this kid, Jalen Hurts. They saying he's showing up and showing out. I like to see that from my quarterback. That's what you have for. You show up. You show out. You know what I mean? They said he went like uh, 15 or 14 in the red zone, uh, six touchdowns, no picks, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, doing his thing. It's crazy how we don't hear the chirps. We don't hear the chirps about when he has good practices, but he had that one bad practice. Oh, we heard it. The national media makes sure that we hear it. But we don't hear him now. Where y'all at? Crickets. Crickets. <sighs> I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Um, the Carson Wentz situation, I'm not as frustrated as everybody is. Um, I don't even know if the dude is out. I don't even know if he doesn't play 75% of the snaps. It would be nice to get this first round pick, but you, how we set it up to where though we still get a second round pick, you still got two first round picks. So I ain't gonna lie to you. I like where we're at, especially if Jalen Hurts pans out. That's gonna be, uh, uh, obviously, that's the biggest story, the biggest situation. And we gotta hope that he pans out because if he doesn't, then we gotta go back to the drawing board. But if he does, we are set up to we are set up nice to be champions for the NFC East all over again like it was like 04, 05 and all of them, all them years. Just just beating on the NFC East if Jalen Hurts pans out. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Y'all already know, man. Stay Philly, stay fresh, y'all. Yo that